So it is confirmed that there is not going to be a Chow Garden in Sonic Frontiers. That was one of the biggest questions, like, was a new open world Sonic? So the director of Sonic Frontiers says that there won't be no Chow Garden in the game. Now I've been seeing some people say, what is the big problem? They haven't been in a Sonic game since Sonic Adventure Battle 2. I know a lot of you guys just run and press forward and just want to go fast in Sonic games and don't pay attention to the story. But the problem you guys are not seeing is that Sega is retconning Knuckles' backstory. If you're not a goofy and already played Sonic Adventure 1, you should go play this now. It's my favorite Sonic game. In this game, we find out so much lore about the backstory of the Chaos Emeralds and Knuckles' tribe. Knuckles finds out what happened on that fatal day his tribe got erased. His tribe was going around destroying and taking over nations. And when they found out about the emeralds and how much power they held, they went to go invade the temple. But there was a Chow that was mutated into this monster when touching the Master Emerald, after the clan took out all the Chows. After that day, they called the emeralds the Chaos Emeralds. These ancient creatures are very important to Knuckles' backstory.